In this video I want to give you a chance to micro mesh option in ZBrush. So before working in ZBrush let's go to 3ds Max and make a simple shape like a scarf or something. I'm doing in 3ds Max because it's much faster and also I want to be sure that I'm working to a certain scale. So I'm going to unit and set it to centimeter like this metric centimeter okay now let's go to a simple cylinder drag it like this let's go to modify and add more side let's go for 34 something like this right click convert to editor poly let's go to polygon select those delete now let's add some more polys let's go to t turbo smooth uh, through generation like this right click convert to other poly now let's go to noise and noise press fractal and just i don't know let's pretend that this is a sort of Textile like scarf or something like that. Pretty decent. I have some waves to test it. Let's make a bigger. Uh, okay. Right click, convert to the poly. Now let's press F to our front view and make create some simple spline. Um, like uh, because we want to make some uh, stitch mm, something like this one two doesn't need to be perfect for me because it will be just an actual test so attach this one let's go to rendering enable enable let's make them bigger something like this okay right click convert to other poly so let's select our scarf alt q let's go to export go to desktop and save it like obj let's call it scarf like this set your zbrush export done now let's Isolate, let's select our stitches, export and call it stitch like this and export. Done. Now let's go to ZBrush. Let's go to import desktop and let's import first scarf like this. Let's press T to go to edit mode. Let's go to display properties and check double so we can see our back face. Okay, now so we can use uh, our stitches, we need to go to another sub tool, but let's import it over here to show you how to make that. Let's duplicate, import, and let's go to stitch. Now let's make it make poly mesh 3d like this so we have it on another sub tool we can delete this one so we do not have some confusions let's go to our stitch press f for the front and polyframe we can go to perspective let's add more poly so let's go to zero measure press one and let's uncheck adapt and just zero mesh pretty decent now let's make very quick some stitches so pressing shift something like this let's b m move topological press f again and just I don't know, let's make some decent, decent stitch. Huh. 
B inflate let's go to sub tool duplicate press move drag or move from the middle let's drag it like this we can add let's go to move let's make this like this Let's delete this one, the old one. Let's duplicate again. Go on to move. Well, it's pretty decent. So let's let it like this for now. Let's duplicate once again. Like this. Now let's merge all together. Merge. Always okay. Merge. So now let's go back to scarf, press F, let's uh, go to geometry, modify topology and we can find our micro mesh. Let's press it and select our stitch like this. Now ZBrush will tell us turn on drawing micro mesh in the render palette. Let's press OK. Let's go to render. Render properties and draw micro mesh. Let's go to polyframe. As you can see, we have some small highlights between the edges. So let's make our first test. Let's uncheck this one and go to BPR. Um, looking interesting. Uh, looks like some scarf stitches or textile with uh, some imperfections but I think those are looking good because they're not so perfect the textiles also so let's if we press in the outer space as you can see we do not have it uh, disappears let's make it to the stitch again and let's make them by move drag it just a little bit bigger like this let's see what happen if the space between them disappear so let's go to micro mesh select our stitch and press bpr again let's go bigger move drag select again make another end yes interesting anyway uh, if we want to keep our our stitches we just need to go to convert bpr to geometry but before that let's make our another subdivide like this and now let's bpr again as you can see this will take longer because we have more subdivide so as you can see we have more density with minor defects that if we scale it more I think we'll be there but for this video it's enough for my first very test so let's uh, go back go to BPR Like this and now let's go to convert BPR to Geo and here we are uh, I find it interesting and I will give it a more chances 
for my future project of course these teachers need to be more accurate more good modeling etc but I think this is it for for now I hope you enjoyed this video if you do subscribe and like see you next time on another video that I'm working a small cartoon crocodile bye